In October last year, an article was written with the goal to determine which US city was the best for foodies. They combined affordability with diversity and crunched the numbers and it turns out the winner is where we have started our US trip, Portland. So today we're hitting the streets and going to eat as much as our stomachs will allow to see whether or not Portland really is foodie heaven. To start our food tour today, we've come to Pine State Biscuits on Division to get some unusual breakfast. This is super weird for us. It's called a biscuit in American. I thought that was like what we call an English muffin in Australia, like a McMuffin. It is more like a, a scone. It's got bacon, fried chicken and gravy for breakfast. For some reason today, a lot of it is chicken. I'm excited to try it. This is insane. really good. I'm quite surprised. I didn't think fried chicken and gravy would make a good mix for breakfast, but it's really nice. Is the scone sweet like ours? No. Bread is like a crumbly scone. It's probably the best description that I can give. Not bad. Expensive, but not bad. It's like a crumbly, savory, dry scone. I think it's so crazy that we have been all over the world and some of the most unusual stuff we're trying is in America. <laughs> I really enjoyed the chicken. The bacon is amazing. The gravy was really good too. It was something about the biscuit. Just a bit unusual, I think. A bit dry. Also, we went in the back way and ordered on the app, which you're not allowed to do. So if you're here, go in the front way <laughs> and order at the counter. I can definitely see why, if that's something you've grown up eating, why would bring back so much like comfort and home and cozy feelings. Mm. As outsiders, we obviously don't have that like emotional association to it, so it was just a bit weird. Especially for breakfast, it feels like a heavy, savoury thing to have for breakfast. I don't know. Mm. On to our next chicken dish. <laughs> So America. I can't quite put my finger on what it is, but there is something about suburban streets in America that just like scream the US to us. I don't know whether it's like the facade of the houses or the huge front yard and big like side gaps between houses, but there's something so iconic about it that it's just like we're in a movie set or a TV set or something. I love it. Houses are incredible. There's squirrels everywhere. Uh, squir squirrels? Squirrels, yeah. Squirrels. 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 And every so often there's a house that has like a, not a treat yourself bookshelf, but like a library, <laughs> like a local library that you go and you exchange books at, which is just so cool. And you just don't have that anywhere that I've been in Australia. I feel like our suburbs just aren't as busy. So something like that works here. Whereas in Australia, I feel like I'd be the only one putting books in and out of my library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's just like outdoor storage. Yeah. <laughs> The next stop of our Portland food tour is Nong Khao Mangai. It's taking us right back to when we first started this trip in Southeast Asia because it's only serving chicken and rice. Now, like all the other stops that we are going to, it does also have thousands and thousands of positive reviews, despite only having one real dish. I'm really, really excited to try this one. We've got about a half an hour walk and we'll be there. Wait, wait. definitely thought this was like a food truck so I don't know what's happened along the way but this is definitely a restaurant it seems pretty popular everyone's really nice again we've come to sit outside because even though it's Portland and it's kind of cold we've been walking for a half an hour and I decided to wear thermals today I'm excited though I miss chicken and rice it's such a simple dish that is just delicious oh it's coming already thank you so much looks like just boiled chicken and some sort of soup which I wasn't expecting <laughs> I shouldn't have chosen chopsticks. Okay. It's just super tender, tasty. That sauce is like perfectly herbed and spicy. Very simple, comforting dish. I never would have guessed that this is where we would have gone for a food day in Portland. I'm gonna try with chopsticks. I've got people looking at us as well from inside, so <laughs> gotta impress them. It's 
boiled chicken and rice. Like, it's good. It's not bad. It's a nice sauce. The pictures that I saw online did look quite different. I had a soup from very bad. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah? Yeah, that's quite good. Very unusual for us to be having this sort of Southeast Asian meal in a Portland food tour. But Portland's weird, man. Keep Portland weird. I wouldn't say it's the best I've ever had. And it was actually $14 plus tip. We were paying in Southeast Asia like $2 max. <laughs> Stop complaining now. Half of this plate that we've left is all just, just the fat bits. I will say the sauce was absolutely delicious. It was like perfectly herbed and spiced and like just that little tinge of spiciness that was really, really good. I am rocking socks and Birkenstocks today because by the time we got to Sydney on our travel day I already had massive blisters on my feet from my new sneakers and the only other shoe option I have is my hiking boots which also currently give me blisters. It's all pretty trendy today. Quick stop for coffee. stop in because I know this might not be right but I think America I think Starbucks strong American coffee but cold <laughs> the plan was to take our coffees walk to screen door which was like this super popular southern style fried chickeny place but it is packed we did not realize that it was Saturday and it's like 1 p.m. almost so prime time for lunch the backup plan is we're gonna go to Voodoo Donuts, enjoy a donut with our coffee or maybe after our coffee. And then tonight we might try our first ever ordering pizza in America. Because of the movies, ordering in a delivery pizza seems like so iconic for some reason. The pizza will be coming from a special place. It's Ken's Artisanal Pizza, which is supposed to be really, really good. Doesn't have as many reviews as Screen Door or the other ones we went to today but it is on a bunch of different blog posts, so it's, it's gonna be pretty good. of our Portland food tour is Voodoo Donuts. We asked for the most Portlandy one and one of them was called Portland Cream. So that's what we went for. Whoa. It's not small. I am so glad we got one to share. That is so saccharine and sweet. It's like a sugar overload. You will love this. I'm not the biggest donut fan, but it's really good. It was like a sensory overload going in there. They have these turnstiles with all of the flavors like made up so you can see what they look like. And some of the names were hilarious. One was called Dirty Old Bastard, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know what was on that one. <laughs> Luckily, we just defaulted to the, what's the most popular? <laughs> and this is what we got. Here you go. Feels like it's gonna taste really good. And that's a weird thing to say, but you can tell by the texture of the bun. <laughs> wow, that's really good. We have pretty good donuts back in Australia. Not this good. This is really good. We must have got here at a really good time because we walked in with one other guy, but they have barricades out the front so people can line up in the shop and zigzag out the front. So it must get so popular. And we're not even at the main donut shop. The main one's in downtown. <laughs> Turns out you can't order Ken's artisanal pizza online and you can't even call up to order either. So we are going for a 15 minute walk to order it in person and then bring it home to try. Our dreams for American delivered pizza live on. <laughs> Surprisingly though, I am hungry now. Yeah, me too. Just went into Ken's, 
It is so busy. So they purposely don't do reservations. You can't call, you can't email, you can't book anything. You have to line up. We got there as it opened. It was an hour wait and the whole restaurant was entirely full. I don't understand. And even takeout. We had to wait for 15 minutes to order and now it's going to take about 25 minutes, half an hour for the mm. pizza to be ready. So we're just wandering around the streets waiting. <laughs> Peeked inside when we were ordering and it did look really good. So I do have really high expectations now because high. that many people to be waiting there and willing to wait an hour. Yeah. I feel like that says a lot. Let's just wander around for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes later, we have a pizza. <laughs> it did take a little while from the time we wanted to get a pizza to actually get one because we had to walk and everything. So we're just gonna eat it on the street because we're hungry. Whoa, that's greasy. It's not what I picture when I think American pizza. No, neither. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly good. Like really, really good. Really good. Very like wood burny pizza. The cheese is perfectly melted and the pepperoni's got a perfect kick to it. What a way to finish our Portland food tour. Let's close this up, keep it hot, get home, eat it. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> the mayor of Portland coming at you from the streets of Portland. Oh, smudge on that. You should be neat. You should close. Use anything. Oh my God. Did that work? You wanted this. It actually did. I know it's coming back. <laughs> it's just a bit. Okay.